What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for, fe for future readings. This free general collective reading for all signs, Captain through Sagitt, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading, 12-18-2022, uh, sorry, 6-15 p.m. Central Standard Time. I um, love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. I do. Okay, so I received another channeling, so we're just going to do it. I hope everybody's doing well. Um, thanks for all the new subscribers to my channel. We grew about 50 subscribers today, so thanks so much for all the shares of my content, spreading on social media and word of mouth. It's really helping my channel get around in a very positive way. Um, I appreciate it, you guys. And if you like to donate, it's High Priestess 305. No pressure to donate. If you see the scammers in the comment section with the WhatsApp, it's not me. Um, they use my handle, they use my picture, but it's not me. Just let everybody know, okay? Uh, if you need anything, it's in the description, description box below. Okay, so the channel message I received was, um, I heard a um, very spiteful, um, malicious Libra energy. Um, I heard it's trying very hard. I heard you're a medical professional. You're a medical professional, and I heard they're trying very, very, very hard to block your money to block your success because they do not want you to be successful. And I heard they know you will if you get the chance. And I heard you're, you're about to very soon. Um, but I heard they're trying very hard to block your money and to block your success. Um, I heard they're trying very hard to get you in the middle of a medical malpractice lawsuit. But I heard you were not, um, you have documentation to prove that you were not even employed at the um, facility um, when this event occurred. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Um, however that resonates, that's pretty crazy. That is so crazy. So however that resonates and applies, okay? Uh, it's a very spiteful, mean, malicious Libra energy. I feel it can be masculine and Libra. They can have Libra in any aspects of their charts. Um, but they do not want you to be successful. Your medical, your medical professional, masculine, masculine or femme, you plug in and how it resonates. But they do not want you to be successful. They want to block your money, your success. And I heard you're about to be successful very soon. So, but they, I think intuitive, they're highly intuitive, but I think they use their powers on the dark side. They're very highly intuitive. Okay, I heard they're very highly intuitive. They're very highly intuitive, but they use their powers on the dark side, I feel, because they know you're about to be successful, I heard. And I heard you're about to be. I'm um, soon, but they don't want it for you. They don't want the blessings coming in for you. So they're going to try to get you in the middle of a medical, medical malpractice lawsuit. I think to cause you stress and distress and whatever, whatever, whatever. It's about to seriously backfire. Okay. I heard it's about to seriously backfire. It's about to seriously backfire because I heard you wasn't even employed at the facility at the time of the incident. So there's been some kind of incident in the universe at a facility. A medical professional facility. That I feel that could be a skilled nursing facility, assisted living facility, a dialysis clinic, a skilled, um, I said skilled nursing, a hospital, however that resonates. But some kind of facility. There was some kind of adverse event. Um, very adverse event. I feel like a signal event is what I feel. I didn't hear a signal event, but that's intuitively what I'm feeling. But however that resonates, I heard you wasn't even employed at the facility when that occurred and you have documentation to prove it so um just saying just saying so however that resonates and applies i would hold on to my documentation uh very tightly <laughs> if i was you um if you feel this resonates for you you're a medical professional uh i feel you've already switched jobs or switched career well i think you've definitely switched jobs from the facility you were at or you're not employed in the universe right now and you're about to be, or how that resonates in positive. Maybe you switch careers. How that resonates. But they, this person does not want you to be successful. They do not. Their goal and premise in life is to make your life miserable, basically. Like a bitter Betty or bitter Ben energy. But it's about to backfire on them. Because I heard you wasn't even employed at the facility when this crap occurred. Um, so how that resonates and applies. Okay. If they file legal action on you, it's about to seriously backfire. Know this. Keep your documentation. Okay, I heard if they file legal action on you, I heard um, it's about to seriously backfire. Keep your documentation. So, I think you have some kind of documentation of 
proving when you left the uh, company or um, or something of that nature um, is what I feel. Um, how that resonates and applies, okay? But keep your documentation. That was very specific in that, okay? Because uh, I heard if they file legal action on you, it's going to seriously backfire. But it's because of your documentation. Um, whoever this is for. It's so, I feel it was a sentinel event. I didn't hear that. But it's it was serious enough to cause a um, medical malpractice lawsuit and they want to get you involved in it. I'll tell you that. So that's why I think it was a sentinel event. If you don't know what a sentinel event is, just Google it. Okay. Oh, my Lord. This person could have seriously helped you with serious information in the past, and they didn't. Just know they're very, they're very, being very malicious because they're very pissed at themselves inside. Okay, I heard this person, this Libran, could have helped you out with very important um, information in the past. Um, it could have helped you out, this person could have helped you out in huge ways in the past. But I heard they chose the free willing choice not to help you out in the past. Um, and I heard just know that basically they're having an inside conflictual self uh, conflict inside themselves. And that's why they're trying to lash out on you, sir, ma'am. Um, because they know they could have helped you out with huge ass information in the past and they free willingly chose not to. So now they're having to deal with some kind of medical malpractice lawsuit energy and they want to include you in it. But I heard you weren't even employed at the facility when this happened, but they could have helped you out and been soulmate energy or altruistic energy to you in the past, and they chose not to. So now they're having inside conflictual in, in, energy inside themselves because they know they could have helped you out, but now they want to drag you into negative energy. But I heard just know it will backfire on them if they try to do this. So just keep your documentation, okay? And the information they could have helped you out with in the past, you're about to learn it very, 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 very soon. Very soon. Keep faith. And you're about to learn it in a very unexpected way. Okay. And I heard the information, this Libran, very spiteful, mean, malicious Libran that wants to bring you into a medical malpractice lawsuit, basically. I heard um, the information they could have helped you out with, huge life-altering information. Okay. Life-altering information they could have helped you out with in the past. They chose free willingly not to. I heard you're about to learn it soon in a very unexpected way. I heard keep the faith. So you plug it in how it resonates. Keep the faith, okay? I'm closing it out. Uh, let's pull one card. I feel like I did pull one card. Now, I have a lot of Libras that watch my channel. And if you guys, you could be a Libra in this situation, a high vibrational Libra, okay? But whoever is about to try to come after you and get you pulled in this uh, medical malpractice lawsuit, it is a low vibrational Libra, okay? So you could be any sign over here. Libra. Leo, Aries, Caps, whoever, any sign. But this is a very low vibrational Libran energy. They're having serious conflict within the ones inside the face. Serious. Uh, okay, so you can be any sign. Let's pull one card. My Lord have mercy. This is something. Your life is about to take off in very positive ways. You have been very patient. Okay, I heard your life is about to take off in very positive ways. You've been very patient. We have transformation. For some, I feel you could have Scorpio in your chart uh, with the transformation energy, um, possibly, um, or not. You, you, you plug it in how it resonates, but transformation is Scorpio energy, okay? So I feel for some, you could have Scorpio in your chart over here, or maybe the person about to deliver you the life-altering information in an unexpected way has Scorpio in their chart. Um However, that resonates and applies. But this is definitely Scorpio on energy. Whether you have Scorpio in your chart, the person about to deliver you the life-altering information in an unexpected way has Scorpio in their chart or not. But transformation energy, number eight can be a very significant number of one's life. Number eight, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number. Number eight, transformation.
You keep moving forward. Change is coming. Know this. Huge changes all across the board. Okay, I heard you keep moving forward. Um, huge changes coming all across the board. Huge changes. So whoever you are over here, whether you have Scorpio on your chart or not, um, huge changes coming uh, all across the board. Transformation energy, okay? All across the board. So I think change is coming with this situation, with the person about to unexpectedly tell you the information that this person could have told you a long time ago. With you, with the whole situation, five, five, five change energy, just straight up all across the board. Um, wow, this is a good reading. I was about to go eat my broccoli. Holy crap. Hold on. Number nine can be very significant. Number one is life. Number nine, change. Five, 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 change energy. They want to put you in a lawsuit so bad, but through many series of chain events, you're about to be able to file a lawsuit, and it's going to be very winning, very. Okay, I heard they want to put you in a lawsuit so bad, but through many series of chain events, you're actually going to be able to file a lawsuit. And I've been picking up heavy lawsuit energy in here today, heavy. And I heard it's going to be very winning. So that could be one of the changes too. Wow. And other many positive changes coming. And other many positive changes coming. So other many positive changes coming for you, sir, ma'am. And they want to put you so bad in medical malpractice lawsuit, but actually... The energy is going to shift and somehow an unexpected person or people in an unexpected way is about to deliver you some information. I think in one situation, it's going to be for a lawsuit. Now, in other situations, it, I think it's for it's, a, it's something else. Many changes here because our change changes all across the board. So I don't think it's just information for a lawsuit. I think it's a lot of information, um, which is going to create the changes. Okay. So you plug it in how it resonates, okay? A particular company is about to rise in a very huge way. Very huge way. They're already very successful. They're about to become way, 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 way more successful. A medical corporate conglomerate. Okay, a medical corporate conglomerate. Um, I heard they're already way, way, way successful, um, but they're about to become way, 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 way more successful. So that, I think, is um, a change, too. Um, it's the way they're treating their employees. It's the way they're treating their employees. It's the way they're treating their employees. So um, you plug it in, how it resonates. So I'm assuming they're not bullying, harassing, berating, or... Um, targeting or retaliating against their employees or what have you, what have you, but some kind of medical conglomerate has already found a lot of success um, with the change energy, but it's about to become more successful, way, way, way more successful, but it's because of the way they're treating their employees. So um, I think, and I didn't hear this, but I think, and that's one of the changes too. Of course, there's many changes all across the board here, but um we have a former uh, medical conglomerate, I'm feeling, because I heard a facility, so it had to be a medical conglomerate. Former medical conglomerate wanted to put you in a lawsuit, but whoever you are, I think you're working at a new medical conglomerate or about to start working at a new medical conglomerate or somebody else is. How that resonates and applies, or you're associated with this energy. How that resonates and applies. But definite changes here, but... It, um, I don't think it's this medical conglomerate that's about to experience huge positive success here is what I'm trying to say. I mean, they're in the middle of a medical malpractice lawsuit, just saying. Um, I think it's the one over here that you either work at, somebody else works at, or somebody's associated with. How that resonates and applies, okay? 
um, but changes. But it's because of the way they're treating their employees. I think current employees. How that resonates and applies. Okay. Let me see if I hear anything else. For one, you're about to get an unexpected communication. You have an online public platform and someone in your past is about to reach out and communicate with you. For one, you have an online public platform and someone in your past, I heard, is about to unexpectedly reach out and communicate with you. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, that's for one of you. You have an online public platform and somebody in your past about to reach out unexpectedly communicate with you. So, of course, use your best discernment, logic, and reasoning and intuition. If you, they're not good for your life, then, you know, you need to make positive decisions there, um, whether to allow them in or not. Um, and of course, it, in my opinion, it'd be all dependent on what they say, how they handle themselves, what information they provide, what they say to you, um, in my opinion. Um, of course, everybody has, you know, you use your best discernment, logic, and reasoning. You are the manifestor of your own life, okay? All right, I love you guys so much, but that's for one of you guys. You have an online, uh, online public platform, somebody your past is about to reach out and communicate with you. So you plug in how it resonates. I love you guys so much. Everybody have a wonderful day and namaste.